I built this empire of my own brick by brick and you can do it too. Productivity, take this time to organize your thoughts, upcoming deadlines, a method that has helped me so much. He was using a timer that looks like a tomato. <laughs> Hey, you being successful in my own right took so much time, so much sacrifice. And honestly, if you ask me what I'd rather be doing today, I would rather be laying out on a beach beautiful island eating learning different cultures doing fun things but honestly i just can't do that it's just it's just not my reality but my reality is is that i do have a nine to five and i'm so thankful for it i built this empire of my own brick by brick and you can do it too my version of my luxe career i make it look sexy i make it look ritzy and most importantly it feeds me and make sure I'm, I'm cared for. Honestly, that's what life is all about. And you can do it too. So here's a few steps on how to get started. One of the most important things I do is to create a day of peace, silence, hush, okay? Seriously though, by incorporating these days, less meetings, more focus time, it has allowed me to literally sit down and really think through what I need to do and then implement specific times throughout my day to get it done. Productivity through the roof. And I know most corporate places, most nine to fives, they don't believe in that, right? They're just like the grind it out, get it done. We need you all times of the day. You need to be available. Maybe take your manager aside or write an email and explain about why this boosts your productivity and why you think this will be helpful to you. Incorporating those kind of days, slower paced days into my schedule have really allowed me to not only keep my own peace, but also for me to get things off the table. Things are getting done, checked off left and right. <laughs> One of the things I like to do when I have slower days is to make sure I give myself a treat or something that I really, really love. And so right now I'm at one of my favorite coffee shops. It's literally right behind me. Instead of making my coffee at home, I try to come here, get something nice, delectable, and just take in the moment, right? And also side note, when I say like slower day, it's usually like one day of the week that I have. I don't make this like a repetitive thing and honestly there's so much work to be done at work that I, I really really can't so just keep that in mind slower days may not be a thing but try to have a slower day at least time to sit down and do the most important thing start my day which is a to-do list here's mine i'm already getting started old school way i like pen and paper but honestly you could do whatever works for you you can even do old school sticky tabs mine is like this ramen noodle i just think it's so cool <laughs> but whatever you want to do write it down type it up and make sure that you know what needs to come first second and last right so take this time to organize your thoughts upcoming deadlines, schedule important meetings, and even touch base with people that maybe you need to circle back with, you know, the common corporate terminology, circle back, follow up, just checking in. Do all of those things and make sure that you can have all of the items aligned so that you can properly carry out the rest of your work day and get all your work done. Once I've written down all of my to-dos, I have everything thought out, I go ahead and incorporate a method that has helped me so much. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. It's created by my homeboy, Francesco C. And what I think happened is he was like, okay, how am I gonna sit here, zone in, and focus on what I gotta get done? And I think he incorporated this. I don't know if that's what happened, but I think so. Essentially what it is, 25 minutes of focus time, five minute break in between, and once you complete four Pomodoros, you're able to extend your break. And for me, it makes working so much easier. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why it's called the Pomodoro Method, rumor has it that he was using a timer that looks like a tomato and just went with it, honestly. Why I have this tomato, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Traditionally, you're supposed to have a physical timer where you can like see it, it's in your vision, and you're not distracted by any type of light. 
technology, social media, anything of that nature. I do it the more modern way. I use the Google countdown timer and that essentially helps me stay on track. Now I know you're wondering, so what do I get to do on my five minute break? My little reward? Yeah, uh, don't get on social media because I'm a victim of that. I will get on TikTok and I will get to scrolling. We don't wanna do that. Do not scroll, do not pick up your phone if you don't have to. If there's emergencies, please don't let me get in your way. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> But what I try to do is either pick up a book that I've loved or meditate for a couple minutes or honestly just take my dog out to get some fresh air. I need fresh air. I need time to come up and just like breathe a little bit because sometimes when we get, you know, bogged down, we'll just be like head down and, and just want to get our work done. But it's a good time to just refresh and renew and take a moment. All right, this is for the vlog. Time to get this meeting started. Hey, good morning. I'm great, how are you? For a Monday, that is how you explain it. How am I doing? <laughs> Fabulous for a Monday.